Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create a buttery smooth boomerang speed ramp in After Effects. Let's get started. Before we begin speed ramping, make sure your clip is fully stabilized and locked in. In my case it's already stabilized, so I'll skip that step. If you're new to speed ramps, or if this is your first time stabilizing and speed ramping, I've left a stabilizing tutorial link in the description. Watch that first, stabilize your footage, and then come back to speed ramp the clips. Once your clip is stabilized, pre-compose the layer, then enable frame blending on the clip, and we can begin speed ramping. To create a boomerang style speed ramp, we'll need to add several keyframes that move forward and then in reverse. Let's start at the beginning of the video by dragging the time forward, I'll set the starting point for the speed ramp. Once that's set, scroll forward and add the next keyframe by adjusting the timing to choose where you want the speed ramp to end. When you're happy with it, scroll forward again, this time move the timing backward to create a reversing keyframe. After that scroll forward once more and move the time forward again to create a new keyframe. Finally scroll to the end and move the time backward again to create the last reverse, or the final boomerang speed ramp. In your case, you can add as many keyframes as you want, depending on how many times you want the video to reverse. Also note that I created my keyframes randomly. For your edit, make sure to sync them with the music beat drops. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, right click, and choose edit value graph. It's very important to create a smooth curve here in order to achieve the smoothest reverse speed ramps. This first handle controls the speed at the beginning of your clip. If you pull it up too high, the video will play too fast and won't look smooth. But if you keep it shorter, the speed ramp will start much more smoothly. The top handle controls how fast you want the speed and the ramp to go. I'll keep it as smooth as possible by pulling it out longer. Now let's preview the beginning. Next I'll keep the remaining handles as short as possible to get the smoothest transitions between the reverse speed ramps. The longer you pull them, the faster and harsher the transition will be. So, keep them short like this. For the last handle, I'll keep it short like this, and then let's check the result. It looks smooth, but I don't like the ending because it's too short. We can fix that by dragging the keyframe down until the ending feels right. Now I'll also pull the top handle and extend it for a smoother ending. Everything looks perfect, I'm happy with it. The main part is complete, but that doesn't mean the speed ramp is fully smooth yet. Next enable frame blending on the clip. Frame blending generates intermediate frames between your footage, making motion appear smoother, especially during speed changes. Let's open all the pre-compositions until we see the original clip and enable frame blending on it. If you don't want to open each pre-comp one by one, I've created a free JSX UI panel that saves you time. With just one click, frame blending will be enabled on all layers in your timeline. The UI panel is completely free for AM Film subscribers, download it from the link in the description. It also includes some cool features that save you time in After Effects. The next step is to apply motion blur to the speed ramp clip for the smoothest look. You can use RSMB Pro if you have it, or if not, the built-in CC Force motion blur works just as well. And of course for the final touch, we can add some shakes. I'll use one from the AM film shakes pack. The pack includes 16 advanced shake presets I created to enhance your edits. You can get them from the link in the description. You can also check out the shake tutorials on the channel, I've made plenty. Now let me show you the final result, and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.